We're way too slow for that. Way too slow. Ooh, double Citadel right there. Good, nice. And Renown is also a way less armored target than a North Carolina or a Colorado might be. So it makes sense. I would imagine we melt this guy. Oh my god! <laughs> yes, we do! We indeed melt this guy like he is nothing. Hey, what is going on, guys? My name is Bubloon, aka Pabloon, and today we are reviewing a new US premium battleship. This is the USS California, and it is a. It looks like a Colorado, but it says it is a Tennessee class battleship. And I'm not a connoisseur of American BBs from the. The, you know, First World War and on, on after that, but I do think triple turrets are kind of cool. This thing has 12 barrels of 356 millimeters, and they reload in just under 20 seconds. So, interesting little gun suite here. We get precise aiming and defensive fire. Pretty standard setup with torpedoes, and if we notice, the AA is actually quite good, it seems. And you also get, of course, defensive AA, so that will increase your AA damage by 75%. So pretty, pretty decent um, AA suite here, I think. The camos, we have the Freedom camo here. And um, this thing is actually not the best camo, believe it or not. I think that's kind of weird, but the historical camo is. And can I just say, I don't know, I like this brown color scheme to the historical camo. The reason it's better, in my opinion, is because you get dispersion and range. And I am going for a pure range build with this ship. So I'm sorry to all my Americans, all my, all my Freedom lovers out there, but um, yeah. I'm going to be using the, the HC camo. I'm sorry, guys. For the build, I am running, like I said, range in both the Elite Bonus and the Equipment Module. So, uh, pretty standard equipment here. And then I am running Jesse Oldendorf because I want to see how much we can push this ship. How much damage can we get out of each salvo. And since these are 356 millimeters, I do think we will get a lot of use out of Jesse Oldendorf. I don't think we're going to be overpinning as much as we would with other higher calibers. So uh, let's just jump right in. This is the, my first impressions. I have zero XP on this thing. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the battle. Okay, well, it is a little bit early on North American servers right now. It is 2 p.m. in Europe. So that will mean on the East Coast, I'm pretty sure it's like 8 a.m. or something. So obviously we're not gonna get the most full games, but I'll take this. Two bots is better than what we could have gotten. So. Colorado. Oh, sorry. Excuse me. <laughs> California. <laughs> LA, man. Guys, what is up with LA? Why why is that why is there so much hype around LA? Like you know, I know it's it's you know, Hollywood, got the rap scene. There's so much culture there, but the one thing that I did not enjoy about LA is the fact you cannot get around without a car. And if you are in a car, you're going to be sitting in, in a queue in traffic jams for ages. I don't know. I'm, I'm probably I'm not trying to, you know, offend Americans here, obviously, but... I could, I could imagine that I'm not the only one that thought that was kind of uh, frustrating. I could imagine if you live there. Damn. Anyways, that was a side note. One thing I'm jealous of you Californians, man, you got good weather all the time, bro. We have a Skona right there. If you were wondering how to pronounce that, it is the the A with an, a dot over it is actually pronounced like an O, an O sound. So, if you were calling it the skein, well, um, I don't, I don't, I don't blame you. I mean, how would you know to pronounce that? But it is, it's actually Skona. So hey, the more you know. We're f we're finally reaching some enemies here. Um, after two minutes of sailing see what we do to a Almirante Cochrane. I don't, I don't think that's how you pronounce that. Let's see, 356 Jesse Oldendorf. Oh, wow. Yeah, I mean, it, it definitely slaps. All right, good first salvo. I, I'll take it. Let's just park right here and see if the Skona was it's going to push up. We are able to get a second salvo off with these uh, fast reloading 356s. Oh, look at that dispersion, though. Should have aimed a little higher. God damn it. Yep. Boy, if you don't. Let's get this Brooklyn then. And let's go brawl these two guys. The, the Ganais now in the Colorado. Let's see if that's possible to brawl. And again, bad salvo. I feel like... 
I'm just very bad at aiming with American BBs. This is something that's not, it's not the ship, guys. It's pretty much just a skill issue on my part. I, I don't know. I just feel like I can't find the sweet spot with these BBs. I'm going to try that again. I feel like that's spot on. Yeah, it was a lot better. All right, Shiratsuyu is down. I mean, I'll say this. Um, the guns feel very, really nice. They feel like they actually punch quite hard when you do hit stuff. We just get this one. There we go. We got to get nice now and a Colorado waiting for us here. Come on, finish the guy. Wow. Kind of disappointing. Maybe we hit a bad spot. That could be. The Gneiss and I was going to go around the island, so I'm going to let him heal up a little bit so we can get all that juicy HP. Let's brawl Colorado. Yeah, I might like this thing, honestly. It also feels like it actually moves quite well. Like, I don't have a speed mod in, but I feel like I'm nimble. I feel like I turn really well. Um, I haven't looked too much at the turn times, but obviously when you have these short, stubby ships like Colorado and the, you know, Vermont-type ships, you will turn... Better. Oh, wow. Yeah, we're gonna have to out try to outrun this Gneiss now, which we can't. I mean, <laughs> he can go 30 knots, I can't. But the Colorado is breaking off, which is huge. There we go. We just might have a chance here. Let's see if I can get around this island and avoid this Colorado for, for my life, really. There could be the torpedoes, actually. He is in range, so let's be aware of that and turn out a little bit. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Good damage. Okay, we will get hit by the rear one. That's okay. Oh, wait. Rain out. Cool. And we're actually killing this guy now. 72,000 damage. Okay, there we go. He took out our turrets. Don't like that guy now. I don't like that. Yo, the damage is good. 82,000? I mean, obviously, I have Old and North guys, so my damage is going to be really good against battleships, but... Oh, oh my god, he almost won that. Whoa, he got the Torps off! GG's. GG, good nice now. I actually didn't think they would be there in time. Well, interesting. I might take another game. I, I actually enjoyed the, the battleship. It, it feels really, um... It feels really good. It's... If you've played Florida, it kind of feels like that. And Jake here is just having a bad day. Rest in peace, Jake. See, see the close-up. Wait, he might... Oh, he won't survive this. That's a not a permaflood. But that is definitely a torpedo right on his port side. Bye-bye, Jake. GG. New life. We got a 2-6 this time. Ooh, ooh Arizona. And, they, and there's, what's up with all these Gneisenau's now today? Is there, is there, I mean, it is tier 7, right? now is a popular ship. I like now. I haven't played that thing in a long time. Maybe I should make a video on Gneisenau. now. Let me know if you want to see that. Let me know if you want to see maxed out Gneisenau. now, you know, putting Franz Hipper, all the good stuff on it. That'd be kind of fun. And maybe, you know, maybe Wargaming should introduce, like, you know, legendary modules for very, very popular and historically important, you know, tech tree ships. For example, Gneisenau, now, or what else can we think about? Um... Well, there's, there's so many, right? But you know what I mean? Instead of only being tier 10, maybe give some legendary mods for tier 7s and 8s. Because a lot of people actually just play there. And, you know, I would think it would be kind of cool. And let's say, for example, you have the uh, you have the legendary mod for Minotaur, right? Let's say you could also equip that on your Edinburgh. That'd be kind of cool. But I don't think Wargaming is ever going to do that. And Jervis, Edward, man. Why didn't you cap C? I guess I guess he figured out that's what he was supposed to. Oh, he's stopping now. Don't tell, don't tell me. What is this guy doing? Just Edward second. Eh, eh, um, hello? He's, you're literally going to let the slowest guy on the team get to the cap before you will. Well, I, th I thank you for that. Look at that. Mahan is already here. Well, we did zero damage. I actually thought we would do way more with our main guns. It's fine, though. I'm gonna let that Gnise now get way in front. He seems to re. <laughs> Bro. Oh. <laughs> Bro, why did you give that for free, Gnise? Now there was no no real reason to do that, but you just you just lost half your HP. Bro hasn't even fired his guns yet. I I appreciate it though. He 
I mean, we weren't going to get hit by those, but certainly hit something. Oh, we're not going to get hit by these either. Or maybe one. Okay, okay, I see, I see. Elite one. Whoever shot that, I, I that can't have been the, that destroyer right there. There must be another one, right? No. It, maybe a cruiser then? Who the hell fired those torps? Ah, too much uh, bow shot right there. We need to go for the the middle of the ship. Plunging fire, baby. Okay, uplifter 1313. Here we go. Very bad dispersion. And very bad pin. What really lifts this ship up is not the caliber of the guns, but really the volume of the guns. You have a lot of them, right? That, that really helps. Even though you get a ton of half pins, if you just hit all your shells, it's still going to be a good amount of damage. Ooh, that was nice, dude. Wow. Can we just get one more on this guy before he runs away? I mean, we have lots of range. We're not running out of range anytime soon. You are actually killing my team, which is... I'm, I'm not against that. I think that's good. We can get a lot of damage now. And I think we're just about to snipe this dude. Nope, we missed. All right, Red Baron or Baron Baden. Got the Christmas camo and everything. Look at that. I don't think he's seen me either, so it should be fun. Oh, he has. And Renown44 is here as well. Well, we are about to have ourselves a brawl. I think that's going to be fun. Tier 6 versus Tier 7. Kind of the same shit, really. We are going to stop here because Renown is turning towards us now. and he Well, he's got Torps, so it's not risk it for the biscuit, you know? Actually, I might I might just go for this guy, honestly. Because he is way easier to kill than the, the Arizona is. Let's focus on the Renown. Arizona's running anyway, so I feel pretty confident we can take this guy out. Yeah, there's this Torps. Oh, wow, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you absolutely melt Renown, guys. Renown 44 stands no chance against these guns. Okay, we turn. Come on, baby. Turn this ship. Turn this ship. Turn this ship. I don't want to be fully broadside to this uh, Arizona here. Oh, ho, 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 this gun. these guns are great versus battle cruisers, man. It's almost like they're made for hunting battle cruisers, dude. <laughs> yes, that was great. Wait, the Omono? The Omono. We have to go for the Omono. Oh my god, please tell me this hits. Please don't shoot over. I think it just might actually hit over him. Yep. Oh, I'm so bad at this game, dude. I need to go to school. I need to re-educate re myself on this this game. On American BBs, man. But I think we will get 100k, actually. I think this might... No, they're torping him. Come on, give me 100k, dude. Oh wait, no, Omono is gonna torp now, no. He's definitely dead, dude. Wait, no, we might actually just get 100k here. Yoink. 90, 98, come on, bro, we need 100k. <laughs> I can do it, I, I believe, I believe I can get 100k in this thing. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Where you at, where you at, DD? I know you're there. Come on, get it, get it, get a big load of this juicy, juicy battleship here with half HP, bro. You do realize that's quite a lot of HP you can farm, Mr. Mahan. Just show yourself. Way better if you just show yourself, dude. I will turn around now. <gasps> Hello? Oh my god, we almost just killed that Omono. I'm so sad we didn't get him there. Well, we got 105k, boys. And the Omono is down. And there you go. 107,000 damage into tier 7, guys. Not bad. Not bad at all. <laughs> Very good indeed, actually. I'm quite surprised. I mean, de definitely when you get battleships pushing, you can do that. But 
yeah, this thing is good. This is a good battleship. Um, wow. All right, fellas and ladies and gentlemen and all, but you know what I mean. This was the California, and uh, yeah, tell me what you think about this. I if, if this comes out in a nice way, maybe let's say a blitz pass, could be, right? I will definitely get this. This is a battleship that slaps, and even without this commander, you can fit, make it slap like crazy. I mean, if you look at my average damage with this thing, it it's 80,000 in a tier 7. That's quite dangerous. Quite, quite dangerous. So... I think the numbers speak for themselves. This thing slaps like a truck. And uh, yeah, I think it's a, I would definitely recommend it for anybody who loves battleships. I'm not very much a big fan of these, you know, thick battleships like Vermont, Kansas, Colorado. But this thing, this thing was a lot of fun. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more content. And uh, yeah, my name has been Bubloon, aka Pabloon, and I am signing out.